Welcome back to Timberborn. Uh, at the end of my last video, I got basically my entire colony killed. Um, so I've got one beaver left, and their job is to collect water, because that's what killed everyone. I didn't manage to get my dam finished in time. I ran completely out of water, and every beaver died. Um, except for one adult and two children. So these two children are going to grow up. They're going to grow up into adults because this one adult, he's just going to be providing enough water for them. We've got enough food stored up that these beavers are in no danger of starvation. We've planted a whole bunch of carrots, so we're probably okay. Once these two children grow up, they'll be adults. They can take on some additional jobs, and then we can slowly start rebuilding our population. Beavers might move in from out of town. Uh, it's not... with you know, having children is not the only way you can get new beavers. So it's actually, it actually might be possible for me to come back from the brink. But it's going to be hard. Oh, I never actually made a path to my um, lumber yard. Might as well do that. Nothing better to do while I'm waiting for my population to rebound. So these are the beaver children. They're almost adults. Okay. They're getting there. I'm just imagining this one little beaver family. They, 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 they buried all of their relatives and all their friends. And they're just living alone in this abandoned town. But these two kids are going to grow up. They'll take on some jobs. you got to figure out what jobs are worth giving these kids. Because I think having... Okay, we've got one of them grew up. Building the rest of this dam is probably important. It's too far. It's still too far from builders, huh? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Let's let's build a path that leads right up to the dam. And see how that does. Okay, that does reach a little further. Let's actually build a path across the dam. So, okay, so I think... Oh, okay, so we need to unpause the district center. So now, Akinot, our child who's just grown up, is a builder. And so Akinot is going to try to finish this dam, so hopefully next time, this water pump can keep pumping through the drought. And yeah, so I'm just kind of depending on the idea that we're going to get some immigrants? I actually don't know the genders of my beavers right now, and I, I, I don't know how to sex a beaver, um, and so I'm not really sure... If we've got a lot of um, breeding capabilities, they might not actually state the genders of these characters, come to think of it. Oh, let's unpause the farmhouse so that our remaining beaver can work there and can start harvesting food, because that is going to be important long term. They might be deliberately avoiding being specific about the genders of the beavers so you don't run into the question of whether you have a breeding population. All right, so because I don't actually fully understand what leads beavers to move into town, um, I'm not sure what I can do to make it more likely. Uh, this is It's a part of the game that I haven't fully grokked yet. Because I know it happens. I just don't know under what conditions. So far, it hasn't just suddenly started happening. Definitely wish I had more builders right now. Oh my gosh, Cogs just looked up how you sex beavers. And I am having none of it. <laughs> Go away with that, Cogs. <laughs> Jedi Psych Tricks is, is, is accurate, saying that um, it's really good that whatever Cogs just wrote uh, is not depicted in this game. <laughs> I really... We don't need a beaver sexing minigame um, <laughs> in this game. So, yeah. So, I don't know if this is going to be, like, a Blue Lagoon situation and, like, the kids are going to eventually breed. Um, there's all kinds of things that could go weird here. Jedi Psychtrick says they are in early access, so let's not give them any weird ideas. 
So it could be that this is just going to be a silly little video that I tack on to the end of the other one to say, nope, I could not come back from this. And uh, that, that could be all that, that happens. But I want to stay at least for several more days and just see if, if anything can happen to rebound my population. Because yeah, we're, we're harvesting more food than we need to keep these folks alive. We've got plenty of water for a population of three. We are making progress on this dam. So this is going to be a pretty sustainable little town if I can figure out how to get it growing. Yeah, Rambo, this should be like beaver sexing DLC for the game. Absolutely not. We should not do that. Okay, so we can't collect any more water. Even though I want to build the dam, I'm also paranoid and I want to build one more of these. I should probably just prioritize it after the dam. Like that's what I'm going to do. So after you're done building the dam, so this is going to take 15, 20, 20. It's going to take like 55 more logs. We've got 55 logs. So I don't need to chop down any more trees. Oh. It's so funny that like, this is my second playthrough. This is the one where I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. But unfortunately, I actually knew so many different things, but I hadn't figured out the order of operations yet. Um, and so I knew a lot. So I was like pursuing all these different goals all over the place without realizing that I had failed on some basic ones. So, you know, not an, I know a lot about the game now, at least more than I did when I started my first playthrough. Uh, I clearly am not an expert yet. Because knowing the order in which to do things is pretty critical. Oh, 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 they bred. It's disgusting, but they bred. We've got one more child beaver. There's hope. Everybody, this child is the hope for our future. Rot sack. Rot sack is the hope for our future. <laughs> Whoever made the name list for this game, congratulations. You have won video games. Rot sack is the best name. Like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm making a note of the name Rot Sack. Hold on a second. Rot Sack. We got to put that name in State of Decay 2. I don't know what the conditions for being named Rot Sack are going to be, but um, it's going to be great. <sighs> oh, well, Zerkus just showed up and is just... Uh, telling me how much better at this game he is than I am. Uh, so I apologize. Uh, this is this is only my second game and I'm doing my best. All right. <laughs> Getting close. Okay, so when Rotsack gets old enough, they're either going to be a builder or a farmer. I think I should probably try to get them to be... Yeah, okay, yeah. So uh, I've already minimized the builders. So I think they're, they're going to be a farmer, but... Mm, Let's not do that. Let's have them be a builder when they age up. Because getting this dam done is the most important thing. Then I can work them into, into farming. I gotta say, though, if this game does let you come back from a brink that was this bad, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with a game that, le that lets you recover from something that was that horrific. All right. Jedi Psychtrix is... It sounds like she's a little bit concerned that the, the term rot sack might have something to do with sexing beavers. Uh, <laughs> that's entirely possible. I've got 45 science. Not really enough to do anything, unfortunately. Not that I need to be doing anything besides just watching these beavers slowly recover. That's the pro that is the problem with trying to recover from something this dire. There's not much for me to do until I get the population back, you know? Yeah, definitely prioritize harvesting over... Yeah. Okay, come on. Keep breeding, beavers. 
Beaver civilization depends on you. I assume that breeding probably happens at night. Uh, I mean, that would make sense, right? What? What? We've already got a drought coming. In 2.9 days, we got a drought coming. Okay, but, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're halfway to building this one, and then we just got to build this one. Actually, I think I can build preemptively paths on top of these, so I don't have to, like, manually do it. So if we can just finish the dam, we'll be in really, really good shape for surviving the next drought. And then, maybe then we'll do a real proper population rebound. If you're watching this later on YouTube, feel free to skip ahead to find out if this actually works. <laughs> you don't have to watch me sitting here staring at my community, hoping that it comes back. Dingus 2 points that I do already have a lot of water stored up for those four beavers. That's true. They'll probably still be fine, even if I don't finish the dam. But I'll just be a lot more comfortable if they do finish the dam. I'm actually wondering... Okay, oh, I've, oh, rot sack aged up. So we got two builders working now. This is good. This is good. We've got much more hope now. Yes. Just one more. These two have a day and a half to get 20 logs piled into this dam. And then we get to see the dam actually work. And it's going to be good. Basically, the amount of water the dam can store, you just you trace it back until the next time the, um, the riverbed gets as high as the dam. And basically, you're going to make a lake that goes back that far. So this is actually, even though it's shallow, this is actually a lot of water for me to be storing up. Uh, particularly if I only have one pump pulling it out. So this is potentially very good. 12. We got 12 done yesterday. We've got a whole other day left. I think we're going to make it. We just need these beavers to start breeding. Inbreed, beavers! Why will you not inbreed? <laughs> you got to overcome your... <laughs> Never. I can't say this stuff. This is terrible. <laughs> Uh. Oh, <laughs> Jedi Cytrix just told a story in the chat about uh, someone they, they knew in high school for whom Rotsack actually would have been an appropriate nickname. And um, yeah, that's a pretty horrifying story, and I'm not going to repeat it. But we've got a dam, everybody. We've got a dam. Now we're going to build some additional water storage. That's going to be great. Let's actually, before we get to the point where our population starts increasing again, let's just build even more water storage. We'll have, have that be the main thing our builders are doing. And I'm pretty sure that builders will kind of build things in order unless priorities are dictating otherwise. So I think that I can have them build these things. And then I can probably... I can probably get started building a levee over here. Let me at least plan one out. Worst case scenario, they'll be like, uh, we can't reach that, and they won't build it. But, yeah. Oh, oh, there's the drought. You see that? So, interestingly, the water wheel is still turning. I would have assumed this water would have gone stagnant. And that the water wheel would stop, but apparently no. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so yeah, so because we've got the dam, now this water is retained all the way up to where uh, the riverbank goes higher. And so we're just going to be siphoning water off of this, still farming like we always have. Nothing's changed because we've built our beaver dam. Oh, oh, the water wheel just stopped. Okay, it might have just taken time for the water wheel to figure out what was going on. So, okay, so it has stopped. Okay, so our builders are actually, uh, they're out of stuff to do now. So let's activate one of our lumberjack flags. Take down our number of builders. It's interesting how, like, when you've got a small enough number of beavers, micromanaging their, um, 
their employment is actually actually becomes feasible. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Um, okay, so I just realized levees are a lot less expensive than dams. And so one thing I could consider doing is not building proper dams across the entire top of this, but rather having there be some dams enough to let the water through. But maybe I don't need to go full on expensive dam for every. Uh, I don't really like the way I've arranged those. Hold on. All right. Let's. Okay. Let's build dams here. And let's build an extra dam here. Yeah, that looks nice. And then levees. No, not there. Levees across the top, like this. Okay, so this is a huge project. It's going to go quicker because so much of it is levees, but it's still a huge project. And step one is actually to cut these trees. So, oh, what did I... Okay, so we've got one builder who I think cannot even reach over here. Um, we might be able to actually extend a path. I wonder if we can extend a path over this way. Let's just do a little coastal path here. So can the builder reach? It, this is right at the limit of what the builder can reach. Uh, and so we might be able to get them from both sides. This levee might actually be impossible to build uh, for this community, but we'll see what we can do in the meantime. We've got the manpower, the beaver power, um, and we've got the uh, got, t got nothing better to do, basically. So <laughs> why not? Still only got four beavers. So beavers, I think, can build like a story down, a story or two down from themselves. So even though the beaver can't really get to this, I think this is one he's building. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. He's building something over here. What's he building? Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. So he can reach that one from up here. And so he's going to be building this one. It'll slowly, He'll just slowly work on this levee until we sort of run out of steam. Oh, oh, they just had a children. They had a children. Cool. Okay, okay. Slowly but surely, we're building back our population. So that child, when that child grows up, what is it, what are they going to do? I still think I, we probably are still good on food. Maybe they should just be another builder? I mean, this levy's going to take forever no matter what we do. So maybe maybe a bigger stockpile of food is probably what we want. Oh, yeah. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Suited Coder points out that uh, I'm going to need a forester at some point. That is true. Uh, I haven't unlocked the science. Oh, actually, yeah. Instead of a second farmer, what we should probably get with our fifth beaver is unpause the inventor. Because we need some more science in order to get a forester. You're right, we are going to run out of trees pretty soon. We can still get a bunch of trees up here, so we're not completely out of luck. But uh, we do want the capability of replenishing these trees uh, as we go. So that's a very good point. Okay, the drought ended. so And we kept our reservoir the entire drought. So good. Things are going really well. It's just going to be slow. <laughs> so if I if I actually edited these videos, this would be a prime candidate for editing so that you can actually skip some of this time and actually just see the beavers recover. But uh, nope. Cog says nobody died. Nope, nobody died during that drop because we had a consistent supply of water. Um, okay, it looks like we're starting to, there, yeah, starting to feed water in here now. And so the water's flowing down. My little tiny levee has not disrupted it. Are we, are we really just going to have just one baby beaver at a time? Oh, we got four adults. They can raise two beavers. We got we to start getting into that exponential population growth zone. 
or we're in trouble. All right, so Zang, yeah, so we want Zangu to grow up. Where is, I don't know if I, can I actually get like just a list of all of my beavers? I don't know if I can. I think the baby beavers are like red or something. Ooh, so our storage is filling up. I realize we're probably harvesting the maximum amount of food right now. It might be good for us to build an additional warehouse just so that we can, you know, not be wasting our time with a lot of this uh, stuff. So, yeah, let's... Where do I want to do it? Let's put it here. And let's make this a higher priority than the dam because the dam's going to take 90 years no matter what I do. Oh, but we're almost out of logs. So, yeah, we can only <laughs> build stuff as fast as we can log. So once we've actually... Okay, we've got no logs left. So actually, maybe we need to unpause this lumberjack and pause the building. Just, let's just build our logs back. Oh, so Mr. S uh, Mr. Suited Coder points out that you can see when they're at home at night, you can see where they all live. So, so even though you can't get like a full list of all of the beavers, you can track them down at night. So that's good. Okay, yeah, so we've got our, our logging beavers chopping down these trees. Wait, what are they doing? Do they not have trees to cut down? There's trees right over here. Does it not reach? Oh, it doesn't reach these trees. Oh, okay. Well, what we need then is a logging camp that is close enough to those trees. So let's build that logging camp. Oh, we, oh, so we need to actually have builders. Let's pause these two. Get ourselves some builders. Build this logging flag. Okay, we got it. So. Wait, no unemployed beavers? Oh, somebody moved into the inventor spot. Sorry, I, I mean, the inventor's important. The logging's more important right now. So, okay, so Akinot is going to work there. Let's unpause this again. Yeah, so we want to chop down these trees so I can make a path to the other side of the levee. Um, and we can, you know, once we have enough beavers, make progress there. Okay, good. Zengu just aged up, so now we have now we're getting science and we're chopping trees down. And uh, let, oh, wait a minute, let's get a second flag over here. So Rotsack, build yourself a second flag. Rotsack, what are you doing? Oh, right. He's building the building the levee. Hey, Rotsack, build this. Build this. Oh, and he, oh, and he built the, more, the new storage. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so Rotsack's going to finish this flag. And we're going to have Rotsack be, be a lumberjack. We're going to clear out all these trees. It's going to be great. Okay, Rotsack is going to finish building that. Cool. Let's pause being a builder. And let's just collect as many logs as we can. And now that we're kind of focusing down on that, let's actually just say, let's just cut all these trees. We don't need any of them. We don't want them. We don't like them. They're ugly. Cut all the trees. Still got some trees over here if we need them. And, uh, and we can eventually, we're getting pretty, oh, actually we can afford the forester now. So let's, let's plan ahead where the forester is going to be. 
So do we want to be grabbing trees over here? Or would we rather... I think, like, it's more important for us to have, like, a lot of food capacity here next to our reservoir. I think the trees are still choppable, even if they die. So I think the forester actually... We want the forester to be able to manage for us up here on this hill and, like, sort of... Yeah, be sort of, like, maintaining for us further away from the main part of the reservoir. So let's... Let's build a forester right here. Not a super high priority, though. We'll get there eventually. But, uh, yeah, once we've got enough of a population that... And we're, we're chopping down enough trees that we want to start growing trees... Uh, the forester is going to be good for that. Yeah, Mr. Sudakoder, I think it's okay if the trees like stop their growth for a little bit uh, during the drought, but it doesn't. It's not quite as dangerous uh, to my, you know, losing water to the trees isn't as bad as losing water to the farms. So I'll be able to turn this whole area that I'm uh, chopping right now into farms. Okay, so Cog says that actually having this campfire is actually really good for fertility. It satisfies their social life, and apparently that actually is good for fertility. Unfortunately, I don't know where I would look to find information like that. Oh, Mr. Sudo Coder points out that I could use the other side of the river for trees as well. That is a good idea, actually. I mean, these are all good ideas. Hmm. I could also use it for more food, though. <laughs> Chop those trees, beavers. Oh, okay. So, is this happiness? Aha! Okay, so Mr. Sudakoda just pointed out where happiness is. So, we've got hunger, thirst, sleep, social life. These are all good. Nutrition one is good. So, I think nutrition two is if they're getting to eat enough potatoes. And nutrition three is probably if they get to eat enough bread. They got comfort. They don't have enough knowledge. Um, spirituality, aesthetics. I have not actually gotten into a lot of this other stuff that increases their well-being. Fun is interesting. I wonder if that's a thing that I can do. Spirituality. This is fun. A carousel. Oh, wow. You can build them a carousel? I've never seen that before. But you need a bunch of, like, you need, like, multiple water wheels to make a carousel work. That's pretty cool, though. You can build... Oh, you can build the temple? Nice. These are high-tech, though. That's, that's late-game stuff. All right. So, the thing that I don't see is fertility, specifically. Um, I don't know if there's a way for me to look at that. Oh, but we do have two children, so clearly our fertility's doing okay. We got two children. Once those children age up, we're going to do two more jobs. What are those two more jobs going to be? Will we want to have a second farmer? Probably second farmer would be good. Because we just got way more farmland than we can manage right now. Um... And we'll probably want to unpause the builder. Oh, we're really going to do this. We're going to come back from the brink. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, so as I understand it, the beavers are always trying to eat the best food. And so, like, they'll eat bread first, then potatoes, then carrots, and then berries. So if you have a really nice sort of um, diverse array of uh, food options, what you'll usually have is a giant pile of berries that never goes down because nobody ever eats them. And then, like, a, a, a much more flexible set of other foods. So the berries kind of become your, um, I don't know, they must have just canned them and make, made them into jam or something. And they're just storing them in a really sort of uh, resilient form. And it, they've just become their backup food, basically. Just imagine if I hadn't killed off the entire community. The amazing progress we would be making right now. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 
Okay, so because we've got enough science, let's unlock stairs because stairs are fun. Stairs require planks, though. And so I can't really start building them until I've got enough beavers to be worth turning on this lumber mill. We are almost done harvesting all of these trees. At which point we'll probably move our lumber operation up here. Actually, let's plan in advance. We're going to start whenever we do have the available folks to build the forester. We'll start planting pine trees down there. Oh, okay. Oh, we're full up again. Let's chop this pine down so we can like store so even more water. We cannot have enough water. That is like, I'm like once bitten, twice shy now about water. <laughs> we must have enough. Chop down this tree. Okay, so I don't think we need to have two lumberjacks working this area now. Actually, I can probably, well, let's play this one and let's mark. Okay, these trees are already marked. Okay, cool. So let's just wipe out all of the trees in these areas. We'll, we'll leave this one around because we once these trees, these little littler trees grow up, we're going to want to chop them down too. Yeah, we're already piling so many carrots inside this uh, inside this storage. Eventually, we're going to need even more storage. Oh, cute little beavers. Harvesting all their little carrots. So cute. Oh, look at them working. Oh, look at the little working beavers. Okay, we have another adult and another child. So maybe we can start lumberjacking it up there. Oh, here comes another drought. Somebody chop this tree down. What? The tree just had a baby. No, no. I will not tolerate this. Uproot that baby. Someone come and uproot this baby tree. I will not tolerate this at all. Hey, wh why are we not chopping this tree down? Oh, it's just barely outside the range. That's why. Chop it down. I must build more water storage. Cannot have enough. Okay, so let's pause the lumberjack flag over here for a bit because the trees are just not mature enough. And what should we do instead? Actually, I think that we already have too many lumberjack flags up. Oh, this one also can pause. So we just got the one lumberjack flag up here. So the question is, what do we need more? Food or... You know, we should probably, yeah, maybe it is time for us to actually build this thing because we're going to start running low on trees and we want to, we want to have thought ahead and planted more trees before we run out of trees. So I've just prioritized building the forester. So build this guy up. Oh wait, the forester needs planks. <gasps> oh man. Okay. Never mind. What we need is somebody to operate the lumber mill. So we're going to start making planks. We need seven planks, I believe is what it said. Seven planks to build our forester. So tomorrow morning, this thing is going to start generating planks. 13 at a time. So you load 13 logs in and get 13 planks out, I guess, is how it works. 
or no 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 you start making a plank the moment you load a log in somebody just needs to do the loading slowly building this levee <laughs> Jedi Cytrix is imagining that these uh, these beavers are singing the uh, the lumberjack song from Mighty Python. The, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. It's so funny. That song feels weirdly regressive these days. It felt perfectly normal when I listened to it in the 90s as a kid. But, um, yeah, that's, that's an interesting, interesting thing. All right, so this is what our dam actually looks like. Yeah, so you can see that right now the water just drops really low and gets really flat. Once this levee is built, the water is going to fill up, uh, you know, and be really deep here, which means this is going to be a perfect place to start sticking water pumps. And actually, you know what? That is a worthwhile thing to build right now. Let's figure out where we want these future water pumps to be. So, okay, yeah, so you want the pump sticking in the water. You want it like that. And actually, let's just cancel this lumberjack flag right here. And connect it with a path. So eventually, I think I'm going to move my entire water pumping operation over here. Probably end up getting rid of this water pump. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice the drought was starting. Hello, it's a drought. So that means we can't make planks anymore. But we've got seven. We have enough planks, I think, to build this thing. So it's fine. It's fine. Let's prioritize it again. Now we've got two unemployed beavers. Okay. Does that mean that it's house time? I mean, farmhouse time? I think it might be farmhouse time. We've got a scientist. And I think, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so now we're going to start farming in earnest. Until the water is flowing again, we can't get any new planks. But that's fine. We can build them up later. Ooh, we've got the forester. Now, the forester doesn't have anyone yet, but we do have two children getting ready to age up. So we'll eventually have a forester, and the forester is going to build. We're going to start planting trees over here. Meanwhile, we got this lumberjack piling up logs. I can't believe it's actually working! We are coming back from the brink. When do I consider myself to succeed it? Like, when have we officially come back from the brink? Is it when all the houses are full again? When we've got 18 beavers? That might be it. Maybe maybe that's our, our, our standard of success. Back to 18 beavers means we're back from the brink. So we're at 10. We've actually got more jobs out here to do than we had originally. So we might even, even need more beavers. Actually, yeah, we've got enough science. One thing that's been driving me crazy is we've had this little tiny gap in the housing. Boink. So I want to add one more. So it'll be 19 beavers. We need 19 beavers to come back from the brink. We've got a little solo beaver apartment here. And one thing I would really like to show is building vertically. So maybe we'll make sure to do that in a sec. We're just, I think we're short one important thing, though, which is platforms. That's going to take 100 science. So once we get up to 100 science, I'll be able to build platforms, which means we'll be able to start building vertically on top of these, these houses, which is going to be fun. Oh, Cog says we need to have space in the houses if we want more babies. I agree. So right now we have a population of 10, and we've got room for 18, soon to be 19. Um, beavers. So I think we're still good there. But you're right that we are eventually going to need to keep adding housing uh, ho housing space if we want to keep adding beavers. Oh, we're out of storage again for our food. Let's build something. Actually, hmm. I could build storage on top of something. Um, I would need to have it be right next to a staircase though, because I can't build platforms. So I need to have a staircase leading straight up into the door. But maybe... 
I should just do that there. No, that, that won't work at all. What am I thinking? No, that won't work. I need to come straight across there. So I need a platform. And platforms also require planks. And so, yeah, until we get until we get the lumber mill running again, I'm not platforms are not going to be a thing. So yeah, when you're when you want to build vertically, you got to think a lot about where your stairs go, um, where your access points are, because you could build a pretty complicated, large structure, uh, but you but it takes a lot of effort to to make everything navigable, to make the paths lead where they need to lead, so the beavers can get into the door of every building. That's where it gets difficult. So for right now, I think I am going to expand my storage, but I'm just going to do it at ground level. We'll worry about building vertically probably in a future episode. We'll build up the science that we need to do it, but we're not going to actually do it for a little bit. So let's prioritize everything that's not the levy. Levy's great and all, but it's going to take forever, so we don't need to work on it right this second. Let's build everything else first. Okay, we're up to 10 adults. We got one of them unemployed. What job we want that person to do? Oh, you know what? Let's make even more food. So we got somebody working here. We got somebody working there. And yeah, Kigamid. Kigamid's going to be gathering berries for us. Nice backup food. Uh, Cogs is reminding me that rooftop terraces are good for social life. Uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, so I do want to include one of those in the plan uh, once we get there. I think, I, I don't even remember if I've built one of those yet. I might have built one late in my previous game and I haven't really paid attention to the uh, benefit that it had. Right now, because we've got this one campfire, I think it could be that only a limited number of my beavers are getting to enjoy it. Uh, so it might might be smart to um, to offer more uh, a, a greater variety of choices for my beavers. <laughs> MacMert says, "Ooh, a Caesar knockoff." I wouldn't quite call it a knockoff. It's this is a pretty uh, yes. This game does draw on the. Um, on the tradition of colony sims, but I would definitely not call it a knockoff. It's got a lot of original ideas of, ideas of its own. All right, so I think we had an adult. Yes, Jolgen just died of old age, so we're actually going down. Our population's going down. That's not helpful. We do have one more child. That's good. Oh, Cogs wants to know, what is the building with a spinning top? This is my inventor. This is where I'm getting this science resource. And that scientist actually just got me enough science. I can build platforms now. Yay, but they require planks. So I still can't really build them until I can afford to keep the uh, lumber mill running. So we are getting plenty of food. I'm, I'm devoting a lot of my population to um, food acquisition. Once we have more beavers, we should probably try to have more builders and things like that going. But... Oh, the time it takes. Breed faster, rodents. What are you famous for? Do you not include bunnies among your ranks? It actually seems like it, it might actually be funny to have a version of this where um, you've got different rodents that can join the community. They have different specialties. <laughs> like rabbits can't build anything, but they're really good farmers or something. I don't know. So Cogs is making suggestions about how I could sort of reformat this place. So one thing I am planning to do is I'm planning on having a staircase that leads up into the housing on this side. So that side would actually uh, would, would benefit from being really close to the uh, the campfire. So eventually over time, I think there's gonna be a nice intricate, like intricate, interconnected set of um, of pathways and stuff in this whole area that I, I think is going to be good. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So yeah, stairs also require planks, which I don't have any of, so. Breed, beavers, breed. Yeah, so our forester has already planted tons and tons of trees over here. Might as well place some more. So there's three breeds of trees. Um, each one, th the main differences between them is that I think birches grow faster, but give you less wood. Pine is in the middle. Maple grows slower and gives you more wood. 
So if you think you're actually, actually, it might be smarter for me to be growing maple here, come to think of it, just because it's going to be a while before I cut these trees down anyway. So, you know, having there be more wood in them is probably smart. How long is my population going to hover at 10? That is not sufficient population. Oh, MacMurt is making a, a game request. Wants me to try Jaws of Extinction. I never heard of Jaws of Extinction. That sounds familiar. So yeah, if you've got enough channel points, feel free to send in the uh, request. Cash in the reward and I'll, I'll have a look at it. If it's an expensive game, I, I, I will draw a line at some point. But uh... yeah, okay. So we've got plenty of storage here. We've got the second pump, but no beavers to work the pump. So the pump is further from the storage. Eventually, I'm going to want to build up additional storage over here close to this pump, but yeah. I don't know if the one pumping beaver is actually going to be enough. Okay, good. They're breeding. Oh, and one, another one aged up. Good, 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 good. Wait, do we have nobody working the water pumps right now? Why is no one working the water pumps? That's dumb. Uh, stop gathering... Uh, what else are people doing that they don't need to be doing? I guess I don't need to have two builders. Somebody work at a water pump, please. Okay, I assigned this lumberjack to get rid of the excess trees we don't need in this area, but I can unemploy them as well. It's not an emergency for them to cut these trees down. It is going to be an emergency if we run out of water. Because this pump, even though eventually once the levee is here, this pump is going to be amazing and last through practically any drought. Right now it's not going to. This pump dries up as soon as uh, we have a drought. So, <laughs> Ranith Cord is uh, joking that uh, he's going to try to use his channel points to just waste my money and just make me buy a bunch of sixty dollars games. No, no, I draw. That's why I draw a line exactly. A Jedi Citrix wants to know if I purchased this game or if it's on Game Pass. No, I purchased it. This is this. I bought this in Steam Early Access. Oh man, once these three children age up, we're gonna have so many workers. It's gonna be great. Okay, so now now we do have two. We have got Kig Kigamid and Yimoja, who are working on uh, on pumping, and so they're gonna fill up my 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 tanks. That's gonna be good. We're getting so close. Get these three children aged up. And we can have because we have more adults, we can also have more children at a time. Uh which is which is nice. Because it means that, you know, hopefully that like it's kind of a shallow exponential curve, but it is an exponential curve, uh, increasing my population here. We will get up to 19. And once we're there, then we move on to the next phase of of beaver urban development. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so we've got tons of harvesting going on with my four beavers devoted to food. We're already starting to fill up this storage. We're, we're going to have such a food supply. It's going to be freaking amazing. How old are these babies? Getting there. Namro is getting there. So one thing, uh, so the person who originally introduced me to this game is a uh, real civil engineer who is a, he's a really good uh, video game uh, YouTuber that I follow. Um, he does edited videos, and so he actually names all of the uh, beavers after his Patreon uh, supporters, which is kind of fun. Um, but he actually edits his videos, so he doesn't make you watch him doing that. I Part of me is tempted to rename all these beavers after you people, but it would just take forever. And people watch it because I don't have the time in my life to edit these videos down and, uh, and remove boring bits like that. Um, 
it would just get really dull watching me do that, so I'm not going to. All right, so... Yeah, I'm just waiting for these children to age up so I can start getting planks. Planks is what I want. Of course, we are using all of our logs building this levee. <laughs> We might need to have a second lumberjack up here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to... I think I'm not marking... Aha! I forgot to mark these trees as cuttable. Oops. Actually, I should mark these trees, too, because eventually they'll grow up and be cuttable. Okay, so yeah, we have been absolutely failing in our woodcutting duties. I'd really like to just murder all of these trees, but I, I don't want to be wasteful. Okay, we got two unemployed beavers. Should I have one of them work in the lumber mill? We don't have a lot of lumber right now. But yeah, let's let's turn on the lumber mill. Let's get the ability to start building vertically once we get around to it. Oh, the farmers are idle. We actually managed to make the farmers idle. Let's give them a few more rows. I have so many carrots. Plant those carrots, beavers. Oh, yes. Yeah, they do prioritize harvesting, which is smart. Okay, we're starting to chop these trees down, starting to build up a surplus of logs. And we are making planks. Look, we have five planks. We got five planks. Once we build up a nice pile of planks, we can start building our little, you know, um, beaver apartment complexes over here. It's going to be fun. We got 15. I got two. Okay, so the, my three children aged up. We got two more. We got 15. We're so close to our goal. We're so close to our goal. Look at all my little beavers. So the, the, the fun thing about this is like you, it, it, this is almost like a like an ant farm sim where it's like, you know, you just, you plant, plant all these little paths and little things and you get to watch your little workers just bustling around doing their little things that you assign them to do. I don't know. There's just something particularly cool about that feeling. I'm not sure how to explain it exactly. Um, let's plant, let's set aside this area for planting pine trees so that as we cut them down, the forester will replace them. How far does this thing reach? Okay, so I could even build some forest space out here, too. Why, why don't I? I mean, we're going to need lots and lots of wood. Actually, let's build some maple over here. This area right here might not actually work. In fact, let's just kill that corner there. It's probably not going to be worthwhile. So our forester is going to be nice and busy, but eventually this is going to pay dividends. We've got one unemployed beaver. I'm thinking, I don't know, another gatherer, another lumberjack. My pine trees have started coming back, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I wonder, it might make sense to do another lumberjack out here. just to build up my wood faster because I'm using it really, really quickly. Also, having a second builder wouldn't be bad. Okay, between the lumberjack and the second builder, we're covered. Oh, we got four children. 
17 total beavers. We're so close to bouncing back. It's crazy. Genesitrix asks, do, do beavers get angry about being unemployed like in slipways? Good question. I don't see... I don't see anything here that says that they want that they want to have jobs. So I suspect no. I think that like if you manage to make uh, create a massive lazy leisure class uh, in your beaver society, that's just fine. <laughs> Beavers are a little healthier than Americans. Like they're okay with relaxing. They don't feel like they have to be like working, you know, whatever, 12 hours a day in order to be uh, valuable members of society. All right, we've got this one tree left over here. Are we, are we cutting this? What are we doing? Oh, it's out of reach. Okay, you know what? We're done with this. Go away, lumberjack. Let's build one more little lumberjack flag right over here, just to cut this tree down and also this one when it gets old enough, which is going to be really soon. And then we're just going to make this. We'll have no more lumberjacks over here. No more trees. It'll be fine. Everything will be great. Come on, little beavers. <gasps> Look at this. We've got 19 beavers. Four of them are children, and a drought is about to start. Okay, so here is how we're going to win this episode we're gonna survive that drought with all 19 beavers that's what we're gonna do so before we could not survive with a town with 18 beavers all but three of them died but next time we're gonna survive with 19 beavers one more beaver than we had before somebody please build this gotta cut down these trees before they breed even more we have three unemployed beavers. One of them's going to go into this lumberjack dealie whenever it's done. Ah, oh, you beavers playing around over here. You know what? One thing we should probably do, let's build ourselves a rooftop terrace. Since we've got enough planks now to start building vertically, the question is, where do I want it to go? I kind of want... Oh, why, oh, why can't I put it here? Oh, because it has to be on a rooftop. It can't, like, be on the ground at all. Got it. Okay. So i got to put it somewhere where it's reachable. Like here, for instance. Uh, except, uh, that would take a little circuitous route. Oh, right here. So we're, we're going to put the rooftop terrace here. And then we're going to build a staircase that leads up to it. And we're going to extend the path to it like that. And so, yeah, so beavers can now chill on the roof over there and actually, hmm, that's probably good enough for now. One thing, oh yeah, one thing I also want to do is let's build a couple of platforms here. Because beavers can still reach these doors underneath the platforms, but it gives me a little bit more space to work with for, um, for building vertically. So this is going to be our first step towards building vertically. And actually, you know what? I wonder. One thing I can't. I wish I could do is group select, and then edit priorities because I've got this huge levy over here. It's just gonna be sucking up all the oxygen in the room. So everything else I want to build that is not that levy, I have to manually prioritize up. I wish I had sort of a. And maybe I do have it. I just haven't figured it out. A drag select. What is this? Oh, that's just the menu. Do I have a drag select for priorities? Oh, I do. I do have a drag select for priorities. Possibly. So let's say low priority for the entire levy. Okay. Good. We do have a tool I didn't know we had. Okay, so now I don't need to manually raise the priority of everything that I want built. Er things by default will be a higher priority than the levy. But the levy will be the backup plan uh, that uh, the beavers go to. Good, 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 good. So 
So I think I've got enough builders. They're working on stuff. I've got four unemployed beavers right now. What am I going to do with this abundance of beavers? I guess you know, we, we can turn on the gatherers. Actually, we probably do need more food now that we've got more people. So I, I'm saying people because beavers are people too. Um, so that's a couple of beavers. Should I build another water pump? Maybe? Or should I just... Maybe I should assign the last two to be more builders. We're not really... We're not getting... We're not getting uh, lumber very fast. So maybe more builders isn't going to do much for us. Unless we can actually start knocking down more trees. But we are going to have two... Lumberjack flags over here. Oh, oh, looks like this lumberjack flag is no longer necessary. Get rid of that. I guess I don't need this path anymore either. Okay, I think we're good. Everybody's fully employed. And so... Yeah, so right now I don't I guess I don't need another water pump because I'm filling up my entire capacity here with with just the ones that I have. Eventually I'm gonna want to build some like new water storage. It's larger. Uh, but that's gonna take some technology. You need to have like gears and stuff, which takes a while. So we're not gonna worry about that. Oh, look at my little rooftop terrace. Oh, look at these little socializing beavers. They're so cute. Now all the beavers are sleeping. Got some sleepy beavers. Drought started. Okay, here we go. Let's let's go over here. Watch the water dry up. Oh, it's all drying up. No, 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 no. But it stopped. It stopped because of my little dam. Now, this is all still going to dry up. This water pump is going to start being useless. It's going to pump whatever water it can out and for just a few moments, but this lake is going to dry up. Eventually, though, that is not going to be the case. This levee is going to be freaking amazing. Are we chopping trees down fast enough to keep up with the demand of the levee? I feel like we're not. And I feel like we've got, we're employing a beaver we don't need. Down at um, this pump. We can pause this pump. There's no reason to have the pump running uh, while there's no water under it. So it gives us one extra beaver. And I believe this should have been automatically prioritized. Right? Right, builders? Oh, you're asleep. That's why you're not building it. So we'll build that flag. Come on, beavers. Build, 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 build. Oh, and some, be oh, some beavers just aged up. Okay, you know what? I think, I think it's time to add another farmhouse. Let's build another farmhouse, which is right here. Like that, I guess? I don't know. Where, where does a farmhouse go? I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot. Right there! That's where we put a farmhouse. I still can reach the entire farm. So yeah, we'll employ those remaining two beavers as farmers. But then... So we should start thinking about what we want to do next session. Because we just got to survive three and a half days. And I think we're good. I think we've got this. So, um... The next time we play Timberborn, our goal is going to be to expand into potatoes. Because we, I think we've already got the technology for potatoes. We, we, we have unlocked potato technology. Um, so we'll move into potato technology. Uh, we can... What else can we do? We could start building a gear workshop, which, will, which is what's going to allow us to... Um, to eventually uh, build sort of larger water storage and not have to take up so much space with water storage because one of the larger uh, water storage containers, it only ta has the same footprint as about two of these, but it holds 10 times as much. Um, and so, but that requires gears. And so we want to build a gear shop, but uh, gears require planks. And so it's good that we're sort of building up our store of planks. So yeah, so I think that's what we're going to want to do next time is... Um, is move into potato cultivation, move into gear cultivation, get, get into that sort of second tier of technology where you're doing things that take multiple steps uh, in order to get them done and sort of like, yeah, build our sort of complex beaver industrial economy that way. Cogs wants to know if I can tell if any beavers are close to death age. Uh, so I don't know what death age necessarily is. 
Uh, Zukundi is 28. We got somebody who's 47. Rotsack is 47. Akinod is 55. So, yeah, so these beavers are getting pretty old. Um, and they, those were the first, like, Akinod and Rotsack were, like, some of the first babies that were born during their bounce, bounce back phase. So once those babies die, no one will remember the time of starvation, the time of thirst. Like, the, the time of thirst is going to be lost in the past, and the children will forget the lessons. And they're going to make, you know, like, uh, uh, intemperate choices again. And the adults are going to be shaking their heads, but they're just going to go for it. Ah, oh, these kids today. It's going to be a disaster. So we've got full beaver employment going on. One thing that is actually nice, I did start getting kind of careless with my employment levels uh, before, where basically I would, I would just build a ton of... Um, houses because it looked neat and I wouldn't really be thinking about the effects on um, unemployment and stuff like that and so I would end up with just tons and tons of un un unemployed beavers that were eating all my food and not providing anything so one thing that this session of like come trying to bring my society back from the brink uh, one thing that it's taught me I think is to pay a lot more attention to how many beavers I have and what jobs they're doing so you'll want to maintain probably like a nice little cushion of unemployed beavers so that you can uh, sort of add new jobs. But like if you get up into having, say, two dozen unemployed beavers, that's a lot of unemployed beavers. And you probably don't need that many. Ooh, I should probably use that space to plant some carrots. All right, so... Our lumberjacks are doing a good job of chopping down all these trees. Uh, Forrester is not keeping up, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, we're doing all right, I think. Now I should, hmm, what should I do? I should really think ahead about this. How far can the Forrester reach? I'm just thinking... Oh, it can't even reach over here. I'm thinking maybe I want a second forester. Like, I could probably... I don't know if I can really maintain three lumberjacks over here. I probably need to have two foresters to keep up with them. But even then, like, the foresters might... Even just with the amount of time it takes trees to grow, the foresters might not be able to stay, stay ahead. But I'm going to plant one down anyway. So let's grab a forester. Look, by the way, look how low the water level is getting. You can see you can see that it's like this reservoir is going to dry up, except that the drought just ended. If the drought had not ended, I actually would kind of be in trouble. Ooh, I could put a forester on top of a building. Oh, that's neat. I like that idea. Um, so I want to give the forester easy access to the ground. So what we'll probably do is the little platform here, a little staircase going down to the path. And so we'll have the second forester here. And then let's say, how far can the, okay, so we can actually put stuff here and both foresters can reach it. So yeah, let's build some, I don't know. We're about to run out of trees. So let's do some birch because the birch grows faster. And we'll let these guys do it, but when is the water going to get here? Come on, water. <gasps> here comes the water. Oh, it's flowing down. It's so beautiful, turning everything green again. And now it's going to be filling up. It's going to be filling up until it reaches the right level that it can go through the dam. Boom, there it goes. Oh, and look how much progress we've made on this levee. It's at, you can see it's actually starting to constrain the water. Like the water, uh, you know, once it gets narrow enough, this water is actually going to get a little deeper. And we can unpause this water pump that we don't have enough beavers for it. I think we might actually be in a position. Yeah, it's like, I think that, oh, it's not connected. To, oh, I forgot to put a path. Right. So yeah, I don't have a beaver to play as the forester. And I don't have a beaver to run that pump. So we're going to need... To add a lodge. So let's look over here. Actually, let's unlock a double lodge. So the double lodge can actually have six inhabitants instead of three. Uh, but it's got a second story entrance. 
So you can't just build a lodge on the ground. If you're going to build a lodge, you have to build it next to something that's large. So the question is, where exactly do I want to build it? We've got, this is like arable land here, so I probably don't want to go any further to the right. Uh, I could kind of come up here. We're gonna, so we're going to build our first one of these. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll do it right here. And then, well, hmm. No, I don't love that. Oh, uh, maybe, hmm. So many different things I could do. I can build it there, except I would need more stairs. Um, I guess we could just build it across the street over here. Except I could, I could potentially plant forests there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to build the tall boy. We'll build him right here. But then we're going to build another little guy underneath. See, this, this geometric challenge of, like, trying to arrange everything is half the fun of this game for me. <laughs> so, we can build... I'm just making this up as I go. This is probably not great, but it's fine. Um, okay. No, that's a terrible plan. What am I doing? So, I'm just thinking, like, I want to fill as much of this space with housing as I possibly can. So I build all of those, except we can't get to the top of them. So how am I going to solve that problem? I like kind of setting myself problems like this and figure out how the heck I'm going to do it. I think that what I probably want to do is build a couple of platforms here and here. And some stairs here. Oh, wait. Hmm. Let's build another lodge. So we're, we're going to go for a boom in population here because we need it. So we'll build another lodge right there. And then that can be where we stick our staircase to get up here and then up there so now we can reach everywhere we just need to mark it out with paths this is absolute silliness it's extremely inefficient and i don't care it looks really neat and that's all i care about so okay so that's how vertical building works. It's a lot of fun to figure it out. And I imagine that over time, I'll probably develop like a set of, I don't know, best practices that are better than what I just did. But I enjoyed that. I thought that was fun. Anyway, um, we're not going to watch the beavers built this right now because it is absolutely lunchtime. And uh, I'm starting to get about as hungry as my first generation of beavers were when they all died. So let's wrap this up. But check this out. We, we actually came back from the break. Look at this. We got our little beaver community that is just, it's ready to bustle. Let's, let's watch it bustle one more time. Oh, yeah. Bustling beavers. Oh, this is going so well. I'm so happy. This is great. Oh, we're going to, you know, we're going to build some lodges. New beavers are, we're going to have children. New beavers are going to move in. They'll be able to take jobs as foresters, as water pump technicians. And then we're going to start really advancing our population and, and our technology. So there we go. Oh. That is Timberborn. Isn't that an amazing game? Like, <laughs> I mean, not only, I mean, it's, it's definitely harrowing in how willing they are to just murder all of your beavers if you don't plan well enough. It's great. But then it's a robust enough set of systems that I could figure out how to come back from the break with just three beavers. I started with three beavers, two of them babies, and we were able to come back from nothing. That was great. So, I don't know. I'm having an amazing time with this game. I've been playing it a lot, uh, you know, for, for me anyway. Um, and so, you know, I really, you know, if, if this seems like the kind of thing that you like, if you like Colony Sims, I honestly have not played a Colony Sim recently that was as fun and interesting as this one. So, I highly recommend it. And let's get out of here. So... If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll put a button right there. If I come back and play more Timberborn, and, you know, if we want to sort of explore the new food and technology options, I'll stick that video there eventually. <sighs> Goodbye.